morning everybody we are at a speed co you can see there first one's here we're gonna get a p.m. service this morning we do have a load so I wanted to tell you about that this morning before we get rolling it picks up in indiana it's going to california the deadhead is 609 miles right now we're about 80 miles out from the pickup the loaded miles are going to be 2359 it is a hazmat load we pick it up today and it's delivering friday picks up today at two so we have a little bit of time that's why we're trying to get our pm service done today because we're about due for that and we are coming up on our 120 day vehicle inspection that's fixing to be due for Landstar so we may do that this morning as well depending on how long it takes here they do not do that here we have to do it at an approved location for Landstar this is not one of them but there is a place across the street at the Flying J the Bosselman boss shop I think it's called that is an approved inspection place so we may go knock that out this morning too like I said all depends on how long it takes here we should get in and out because we are the first ones here we'll be trekking back out to California it'd be nice to get one over the weekend but um, yeah we'll see we are going to Northern California this time let's get this oil changed and see where we go from here on the road I fixing to lay down for the night Jason just stopped to do his 30 minute break we are rolling well not literally Funny story oh Jason's gonna tell Funny you story Jason's got a story to tell you Funny story about this load is uh, we, we took more than the 7,000 that we normally like to take it's about 7,500 pounds and we are right at 31,980, 20 pounds from being overweight. And we're at half a tank of fuel. We got two over 2,000 miles that we are gonna have to run and fuel up, not all the way, but we're gonna have to fuel up every 300 miles because uh, we're at half a tank and from half a tank to almost empty uh, we can get about three four hundred miles we're gonna have to run this trip like that and this is our first time ever having to do this <laughs> yeah in four and a half years i mean four I and a half a years of, a lot of 18 wheelers do it and a lot of folks do it but yeah yeah, this is yeah the we've first time. we've heard people talk about it before but so <laughs> this is going to be our first experience with it fueling up every 300 miles for 2,000 miles. 2,300 miles. The total load is 2,300, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but that's all right. I mean, hey, it's a good run, it's good miles, it's good pay, so we do what we gotta do to make that money, right? Yeah, this is gonna be a fun one. <laughs> Get to bed, woman. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock out there. some miles and uh, wake her up around one. We should be there, what, Friday morning, I think. Yeah, this is going to be a long one. We got the oil chains before. Oh. We got the oil We did some a bunch of maintenance things this morning. We were, we were very... Um, we got productive. Productive this yeah. morning, yeah. We, we replaced the two front shocks. Um, we're close to about 100,000, and that's about the recommended interval for those. So we had picked some up at a Freightliner about a week ago, and we're able to get that done today. We got our 120-day vehicle inspection done for Landstar. Uh, you have to get those done every 120 days or three months. Basically a DOT inspection. DOT inspection. So we got that done this morning. We got a PM service done. Oil changed, all the fittings greased, um, all new filters, stuff like that. So 
We are running on some fresh clean oil, some new shocks, and a clean inspection. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, well, I'm, I'm gonna get on the road. My 30 minute breaks up and it's time to hit the road and it's time for you and to I'm go to bed. Hit the hay, so all we'll right. talk to you all tomorrow. All right, Peace. guys, good night. to Wyoming and I'll be stopping at TA Cheyenne to top off again because we're having to run low on our fuel so that we don't go overweight so yeah so everything's looking good and I'm gonna get back on the road let's check up front that all looks good looks good we're gonna check that all right, everything's good. Let's get back on the road. At our favorite taco joint near Tepa, where we delivered. Tepas, uh, yeah. With one of our OG followers, David. Shout out, David. It was so good seeing you. Yeah, it was nice seeing you. It's been a while. Yeah, he's yeah. been one of our followers since it, the beginning of our YouTube channel, he, I think. He's he awesome. has been awesome. Very good supporter. Yeah, and, and he's turned into a really always good been friend. Very, always been very positive. We were going to get a hotel. Yeah. At our favorite place. At, at our, our favorite, favorite hotel. Our favorite city, our favorite hotel. <laughs> But they're booked up, so that must have been a sign. Don't spend no money. <laughs> yeah, right. We took that as a sign. So. so we came to none other than the Flying J, where that drama happened, where that guy almost got a, where that guy got arrested. And behind our truck, all behind our truck, and I here. almost got shot by the cops because they <laughs> thought my camera was a taser. Yeah, in Lodi, California. <laughs> yeah. No backups yet. Nothing yet. Uh, talk to the agent for this area, so he knows what he's saying. Um, what probably won't be nothing until next week. He said, "Enjoy your long weekend." Yeah, yeah. I didn't even realize that it was Columbus Day Monday. Oh, I got a GoPro this week, the new GoPro Hero Six, and it looks awesome. Very. Oh good my gosh. Yeah, yeah. The stabilization on it is freaking wow. Yeah. You don't even need a gimbal no more. Yeah. I mean, uh, with that camera, they're going to, like, they came out with such a good camera and stabilization on the 6, they're going to lose sales on their uh, Karma. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Nobody's going to buy the Karma because it, it don't need it. Yeah. It just don't need it. So, I don't know. I'll do a comparison video. Uh, I'll show you guys the Sony we use probably about 90% of the time. And then uh, we'll compare it 
with the GoPro. Now this Sony has really good stabilization, but this GoPro is gonna oh, give these Sonys a run for the money. So, well, I'll show you the comparison on those, and we'll we'll compare the Hero Five, the Hero Six, and the Sony X3000. So. We're at Fine J still. This fine gentleman is uh, doing polishing, right? Damn good detail. You gotta polish up our stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna yeah, you gonna make it, so I want to do a before and after. Got a bunch of great crap on there. Now. I got it, bro. Oh, man. Look at that. Look at those. Wow. Pretty good. I only had $42 and I wanted to get the toolboxes done too, but I didn't have enough, so we'll get that done another time. Hey guys, we had to find a vet for this little guy. He is having some problems with his ears. We pulled a big ball of wax out of it last night and ever since he's been kind of bothering with his ears. He's yelped a little bit. He's not feeling too good, so we found a vet. We just got here, we're gonna see him. Let's see what they say. Well, no ear mites, right? No ear mites. Just gotta do gotta some, some uh, cleaning, antibiotics. We need to get better at that. That's partly our fault because we should be cleaning them more often. Especially yeah. with this bad ear. Well, I say bad ear, but you know, he's got this ear. I'm sure more stuff gets yeah, in there because yeah. he doesn't have the full protection of a full ear. That part of the ear just really helps for hearing. Oh, so really? Doesn't yeah. help keep stuff out? No. But I'm sure they get dirtier too with us being on the road and out in the- Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. This will hold him over till we get home and we can get him to our vet. He did good though. Yeah. He, was, he just snapped at the vet once. Once. Hey again, guys. It is Sunday afternoon. Well, almost Sunday evening now. What time is it? It's like five, almost six o'clock here. We're still in Lodi, California at the Flying J. Just finished taking some much needed showers and getting freshened up. Just a little update you on little Tyson. He does seem to be doing much better this afternoon. He had a little bit of a rough night in morning. He was yelping a little bit as he was still sore with his ears, but he does seem to be better. I'm fixing to feed them dinner, let them out, and continue editing videos. I am, I've got so much footage to edit and that's what I've really been doing this weekend is trying to get caught up with that. So I'm gonna end it here guys. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and until our next video, peace, love and expediting.